Hello. This brief video will show you how to operate and care for your Silken Glide hair removal system. Glide is the next generation silken hair removal device. Silken Glide is a sophisticated personal hair removal device that employs the innovative and clinically proven Home Pulse Light Technology HPL, based on technologies used by skincare professionals and physicians in their clinics and aesthetic salons. Glide is not designed for everyone. To decide whether it's suitable for you, please read the Glide user's manual. For further information and personalized advice, you may also visit www.silken.com or your local Silken website. To ensure safe and effective home hair removal with Glide, it is essential that you observe all the appropriate guidelines. Glide is intended for use by women and men on delicate body areas. Typical areas for Glide use are the face, underarms, and bikini line. However, Glide can also be used everywhere else on the body, including the back, chest, arms, and legs. Glide works best on darker hair colors. If the body hair you wish to remove is white, gray, or very light, Glide may not be suitable for you. The Home Pulse Light HPL technology found in Glide has been clinically proven to be safe and effective in both physician-directed trials and by over 1 million home users for over four years. Glide takes HPL technology one step further with Glide HPL. Glide HPL can be used also on darker skin types and offers a quicker and friendlier treatment method, the gliding application. When you use Glide, it emits a pulse of light that is absorbed by pigment in the hair shaft beneath the skin surface. This stops the hair follicle activity and disables hair growth. The result? Permanent removal of unwanted hair. It's easy, comfortable, and you can do it at home. The Silken Glide device has a control pad, a pulse trigger, and a treatment surface that emits light pulses. Next to the treatment surface is the skin tone sensor. In the center of the control pad, you will find the central button that you use to turn Glide on and off and set the energy level. Around the central button, there are six indicator lights. On the top left side of the central button, you will find the Ready Skin Tone Warning Indicator Light, which tells you when Glide is ready to deliver a light pulse and also provides various warnings. The other five lights are green energy level indicators that represent the energy level set for the treatment. In the printed user's manual, you will find complete instructions on how to set the energy level. To safeguard your health, make sure you use Glide properly. If you have a fresh suntan or have recently been exposed to the sun, use Glide only at the lowest energy setting. While all light-based technologies for hair removal are not suitable for naturally dark skin complexions, Glide can treat all skin complexions except the darkest. For your safety, Glide comes with a skin tone sensor that measures the skin pigmentation during use. The sensor will disable the device when applied to skin that is too dark for safe application. Glide is an electrical device. As such, it should not be used or placed around water. When you plug Glide into an electrical outlet, all the indicator lights around the central button will illuminate one after the other in a circle. Press the central button to turn Glide on. At this point, the green energy level one indicator light will illuminate. For your safety, Glide will always start up at the lowest energy setting, but this can be adjusted before use. Setting the energy level determines the intensity of the light pulses projected onto your skin during treatment. While higher energy levels are more effective, they may also involve more risk and discomfort. 
To set the energy level, apply repeated short presses of the central button until the desired energy level is displayed by the five energy level indicator lights. For your first glide session, use the lowest energy level. As long as you experience little or no discomfort during and after the treatment, you may increase the energy by one level in each subsequent session. Before using Glide, shave the area you plan to treat, then make sure the skin is completely dry and clean. Place the treatment surface in the location you wish to treat. Make sure that all the edges of the treatment surface are in full contact with the skin. As soon as the treatment surface is placed properly, the Ready Skin Tone Warning Indicator light will start blinking slowly. Press the pulse trigger to deliver a pulse. Glide comes with two built-in safety features. One ensures that light pulses are emitted only when the treatment surface is facing the skin. The other ensures that light pulses are emitted only if the skin is light enough for safe use. If the skin is too dark or tanned for safe use, a pulse will not be emitted and the Ready Skin Tone Warning Indicator light will start blinking rapidly. Shortly after the light pulse has been delivered, Glide is fully charged for the next pulse and the Ready Skin Tone Warning Indicator light illuminates. Now, place the treatment surface on the adjacent area of skin and deliver the next pulse. This is the pulsing method of treatment. When pulsing, make sure individual pulses are administered right next to each other. Continue working in the same direction, systematically covering the entire area. Try to avoid overlapping and stacking the pulses as this may increase the risk of adverse effects. Alternatively, and for a non-stop treatment session, you can treat using the gliding method. Hold down the pulse trigger while gliding the device slowly over the skin. A succession of pulses will be delivered. This gliding method of treatment is most suitable for use with lower energy level setting. That's because when set to energy level 1, pulses are delivered with as little as one second interval between them. When set to energy level 5, Pulses are delivered with 3.5 second intervals between them. Always check your skin during and after using Glide. If your skin blisters or burns, stop the treatment immediately. At the end of your Glide treatment session, give the central button an extended press to turn it off. If you won't be using Glide for a while, unplug it from the electrical outlet. For the first three to four sessions, you should treat with Glide every two weeks. Afterwards, you can use Glide whenever hair begins growing back. Due to the duration of the hair growth cycle, achieving long-term results may require multiple treatment sessions over a period of 18 to 24 months. When planning your treatment regime, keep in mind that the actual number of pulses your device will produce is affected by the energy level set for the treatments. Higher energy settings will result in a smaller number of pulses, while lower energy level settings will result in a larger number of pulses. To ensure a healthy aesthetic result, avoid more than minimal exposure to the sun for four weeks before and for two weeks after any Glide treatment using higher energy settings 2 to 5. And make sure to protect your skin with a maximum protection sunscreen throughout the period of treatment and for at least two weeks after the last session. After sun exposure, you may continue using Silk and Glide but only at the lowest energy level. Certain adverse effects may occur after Glide treatment. These are rare and usually temporary. If you experience any complications, such as redness of the skin or a lasting heat sensation, stop using Glide and consult your dermatologist or physician immediately. We hope you found this video helpful. Homeskinovations thanks you for choosing Silk and Glide.
You're on your way to beautiful, healthy hair removal in the comfort of your own home with our revolutionary HPL technology. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact a Silken Customer Service Center. 